Alright, what's up guys? Brand Kills here. Um, this is going to be the next episode of my Gotham City Imposters episode where I try to get the gold uh, katana. And the beginning of the video, it's going to be really laggy. But, um, like, actually, like, a few seconds here, it's going to stop being laggy. Um, for some reason, when I, f when I start recording with Bandicam, it just starts to, like, go crazy at first, and then it'll start to smooth out. But, uh, I want to talk to you guys about the new series. I'm going to start, um, start, you know, playing... I'm gonna start playing Black Mesa Source, and I've been trying to record it for a while, like today and yesterday, and for some reason, when I record this, it like stops recording after about a minute and a half, and then it it doesn't save anything, even if it has like the little red numbers at the top right screen, so it's probably gonna take longer than usual, I mean, longer than it should be to get it up and running, so... It kind of sucks, because some of the times is really funny, and I try not to do the same thing every time I record it. So, yeah. Um, next episode of this epi next episode of this is going to be, um... My friend, my friend Crazoon and I are going to start playing this game. Um, I think we figured out a way that we can get the matchmaking to work, like, with parties. Um, like, when you have to, you have to, like, join a party where it hasn't begun yet. Like a, like a room where it hasn't begun. And then uh, the leader, once you get into the game, the leader kicks you. And then you both stay in the same party and you can still join too, so... That's that's a, that's a cool thing. So we can play together. We played at least 15 matches before uh, he like decided to go off and play a different game or go someone wanted to go to sleep or something. But yeah... Uh, I mean, <laughs> it was pretty intense. Like, we were playing... Uh, what were we playing? We were playing a uh, bounty hunter, I think, and <laughs> we were just making fun of each other the entire time. So look for that um, in a few days. I'll be uploading that. I know I haven't uploaded a uploaded a video in a while. I mean, actually, in just a few days. But there's a reason for that. Um, tomorrow is my mom's birthday, and um, we're going to be going to Universal Orlando Studios, and I have never been there before. I've been to Disney plenty of times because my father works there, but um, my mom. My mom got like a whole bunch of tickets from one of her friends, and now uh, we're gonna go over there tomorrow. So I'm probably not gonna be able to upload a video tomorrow. So I'll probably pro I'll probably upload this video and then the video I have for tomorrow today. Um, but yeah, I've never been to Universal before. I mean, I know I've been to Disney plenty of times, and um, oh, this reminds me of a story that, that I want to tell you um, about. Um, there's this ride at Disney called Test Track, and uh. When you go there, God damn it! I forgot about this part. Like some random kid just started talking. But back to the story. At test, tra there's this ride at Disney called Test Track, and uh, it basically it like puts you through a whole bunch of tests for like cars or whatever. And it's like maybe a six-person ride. And um, my dad used to work at that ride. Now he works at like the the sports center. Um, but when I was there, like I used to always go through the back way. It was like all industrialized, and you know, like a whole bunch of pipes and the office building and stuff where they maintain the ride and shit. And I was so used to that. I thought it was a front way. And then one day, um, my grandpa and I went went there with my sister because uh, we were little and my mom and dad were on vacation, like their honeymoon or some shit. And um, what happened was we went through the front way for the first time and I was so shocked. I was like, whoa, this looks completely different. Did they, did they redo this? And my grandpa was like, no, it's always been here. It's always been like this. And I'm like... There's no possible way. I've been, I've been on this ride at least a dozen, like, probably way more than a dozen, at least a hundred times. I mean, it was like the only ride that I could ride at the time until I was tall enough to ride um, Rock and Roller Coaster. And I was so confused. I was like, there's no way they, they built this in, like, this short amount of time. And... And then after, 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 I was like, what happened to all the pipes and stuff? You know how, like, they have all the chains, and now they made everything look all fancy, they put machines and stuff, and he's like, oh, you've been, you, you've never been this way before? I'm like, well, no, he's like, well, I can understand, because your dad works here, but I was so confused. I, we, I, that was the first time I ever went the front way, and I was, <laughs> I was, I was, I was wondering, how the fuck did they build this in this amount of time? But yeah, um. Back to Universal. Um, I've, I've, like I said before, I've never been there before, and people are always saying how it's so cool or whatever, but first time I went to Bush Gardens, everyone's like, yeah, Sheikra is so fucking awesome, and I'm like, Sh I went on Sheikra, and then I was like, that wasn't, it wasn't that good. 
I mean, I waited like tw two hours to get on that ride, and it was like a 30 second ride. And it wasn't even that great. I mean, everyone's like, yeah, there's like a huge drop, and it's so amazing and stuff. And I'm like, the drop, it was just terrible. And that kid needs to shut up. I think that's the last time he talks. But, um... Oh, man. I'm, I'm so looking forward to tomorrow, but it's going to be a three-hour car ride, so I don't know what the fuck I'm going to be doing. I mean, I have a Game Boy Color, but... I only have one game for it, which is Pokemon Red, but the battery is dead, so I can't save or anything. Um, I might I might actually read a book or something. I've, it's been so long since I read a book. Probably going to pick up something something interesting off of the bookshelf or something. I don't know. It's been forever since I've read, so... I'm not sure how I'm going to... How I'm going to, you know do anything. I mean, I, I, don't, I don't think I can just sit there and play Game Boy for three hours anymore like I used to be able to, because I'm so used to having, like, a brighter screen where I can see, like, even if it's, even if it's daytime outside, so probably bring a few things to do, but once we get there, it's gonna be fucking awesome. <laughs> I'm so looking forward to this. I mean, there's, it's, there, I, there's supposed to be a lot more roller coasters, and I fucking love roller coasters. I, I just wish that there was a roller coaster that scared me, you know, like made me like almost shit my pants. I've I've never actually ridden a roller coaster that I was scared of or I mean they're fun, don't get me wrong, but I want I want something that is so intense that it scares like the living sh living shit out of me, I mean. <laughs> but yeah, um in in the comment section below, tell want tell me what theme parks you've been to the most. I mean if you if you live in Florida Obviously, you've probably been to a lot of theme parks. They have, like... Like, in Orlando, there's, like, a ton of theme parks. There's, like, water parks, like, um... Adventure Island, Island of Adventure. I'm not sure if Island of Adventure is a theme park, but... There's Adventure Island, Island of Adventure, Disney World, Universal Orlando Studios, and then in Tampa, there's Bush Gardens and another water park. But, yeah, um... <laughs> and, I, as you can tell, I'm probably running out of things to say, and I forgot to make a list like I said I was going to before of things to talk about when I do commentaries. That's why I usually do like live commentaries, because you don't have to think so much about what you want to talk about. Um, I think the next episode that I did with my friend Krayzoon, um, we we were literally just talking while we were playing the game, so it wasn't that big of a deal, but um Yeah, that probably I'm not gonna probably not gonna be able to do the um the guncraft video this week because, you know, tomorrow's my mom's birthday. Happy birthday, mom! And another exciting thing. I got I applied for a partnership with Social Blade, and I got accepted. So I could pot I'm gonna potentially be a YouTube partner, but it's probably gonna be sometime in October because I have to have a bank account so they can deposit my earnings if I make any money off these videos. It's not really about the money, but you know it'll help us. It'll help me grow, and uh, I want more. I want. I want. I wish more people would watch this. So. Yeah, once I get, I'm probably gonna get my partnership in October because uh, my mom knows this guy that's holding this uh, this like ha like Halloween thing where it's like a haunted trail or something, and um, he's paying me like a hundred bucks to do this for four days for like four hours a day. So um, yeah, it's gonna be pretty cool. I'll, I'll make some money and uh, be able to scare people. <laughs> and uh, I was thinking that I would probably like dress up as Slenderman and just like come out of nowhere, just like. Like just like sidestep out of like behind a tree or something, because I'm pretty sure a lot of people know what Slenderman looks like. But um, I'm not really that tall. I'm only like five foot two, so I'll probably have to get some tall person to do this shit. But it's gonna be totally awesome. And <laughs> I like that kill I just got where. Oh, I like the kill where I got where I just like instantly killed two people with the pistol. But yeah, this is the end of this episode. Uh, if you like the video, don't forget to rate, comment, subscribe, and uh. Don't, -click, don't forget to click that like button, and uh, I will see you guys later. God damn it, that kid is so fucking annoying. But anyways, I'll see you guys later.